Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May invite everyone to pose for a while remembering that we're all sinners before the Lord. We committed a lot of sins every day, and now we are ready to sorry for all of this, and we embrace God's mercy, pardon, and strength. With humble heart we say, I confess yes, to Almighty God, and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sin, and my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May our prayer of petition rise before you, we pray, O Lord that with purity of unblemish, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exalt. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stog, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert, and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where jackals lurk will be a marsh for the reed and papyrus. A highway will be there called the holy way. No one unclean may pass over it nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those with journey to make, and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our God will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us. Please stand. <laughs> the king will come, the Lord of the earth, and he himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, 
were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in the presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd. He went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? But who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on, on the earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, pick up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they were glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We come to our spiritual journey in this second week of Advent with full awareness of and conviction of our preparation, mother, brothers, and sisters. In this preparation that we have, we may grow deeply, hopefully, the movement that God is coming to us in our direction is going toward Him. This is our path, my dear brothers and sisters, so that we could really look forward for the Messiah to come. Like in the first reading that we have today from the prophet Isaiah, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He come to save you. Absolutely, my dear brothers and sisters, the promise of God is at hand. Our God will come to save us. Mga kapatid, ito yung pinaghahandaan natin ngayong kapanahonan ng Adviento na tayo'y maging kabahagi ng pagliligtas at makarating sa tunay nating tahanan ang kaharian ng Diyos. Sinasabi sa atin, huwag tayong matakot, be strong enough, hindi po kinakatakutan ang Diyos pag dumating sa buhay natin. This is a reality that we trust on every day that God will come to us to save us. Hindi po kinakatakutan ang Diyos. Hindi po kinakatakutan ang pagdating ng panahon na itinakda para sa atin ng ating Panginoon. And this preparation that we have, be strong, fear not. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, Advent season is a time of preparation to go through the path that God wants us to take. If that's so, my dear brothers and sisters, tracing and walking along that path, at the end, we will receive the reward, the salvation in which we are sharing the kingdom of God. But my dear brothers and sisters, looking now in our human condition, are we ready to embrace 
the kingdom of God through our salvation, our present situation could tell us that is why we heard in our gospel today the very words of Jesus gives us the restoration and meaning of our life. As for you, your sins are forgiven. These words, mother, brothers, and sisters, move by faith. As we heard, a paralyzed man was brought to Jesus by destroying the roof and lowered him in front of Jesus by his friends. Faith is our power that we could, that we could receive the forgiveness and healing. Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, telling us today, have first strong faith like those men who brought the paralyzed to Jesus. That is faith is persevering and ever ready to go through difficulties. Kumbaga mga kapatid, sa ating panampalataya, nandoon yung pagsubok, nandoon yung hirap, but don't give up because that is a way that we could enter the kingdom of heaven through holding the true faith that gives to us by God. Mother, brothers, and sisters, this is very fundamentally significant for all of us believers to have sincere encounter with the mercy of Jesus because this is our need now. We are somehow paralyzed. We cannot move in the action of God. We cannot move to express the love of God. We are confined, my dear brothers and sisters, with our sinfulness that is to hinder or delaying the goodness of God in ourselves and to others. Advent season is allowing the mercy and forgiveness of God as we welcome Him every day in our lives. We have Jesus, mother, brothers, and sisters, that has full of power to heal us and forgive us. Let us bring ourselves to Him. Even we are sometimes paralyzed because of our weaknesses, failures, and doubts. Jesus will come to us today. Jesus will come to us every day, ready to remove all the obstacles in our journey. Again, mother, brothers, and sisters, let us continue to hold on on the power of God that we may change our life through our own conversion and renewal every day. Taking step forward toward Him, we will receive truly the very words of Jesus today. As for you, your sins are forgiven. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, with all the trust of the paralytic friends, let us pray for healing and whole wholeness of the peoples of the world. And every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church of God may be constantly at work carrying out Christ's saving mission through the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that we may be ready to forgive others, realizing that this is the shared duty of all who follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that those who feel paralyzed because of their sinfulness may find true spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the sick and the handicapped 
may receive comfort and hope in Jesus, who suffered for us all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. We may in turn to show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below, Gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the designs you, you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. In the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name, in of, the the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy their farthest gifts, you pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, 
which we afford out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that the is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guarded to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring you to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on, earth on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, keep me safe, hope, and alive.
Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel as we pray the prayer of entrustment to Immaculate Conception. O most blessed Virgin Mary, you were Love. preserved from the stain of original sin. Most, most loving, loving and, and powerful, powerful patron of the, of the Philippines, Philippines you, you also, also be endless, endless praise, everlasting, everlasting veneration and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most, our most kind Mother, our, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts, we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you have captivated your sweetness the hearts of men. You have captivated our hearts. You have captivated the hearts of our people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundation of the faith in our beloved land by your good patronage as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours. We wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us to your most powerful intercession. We apply to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities. But deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.